Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be playing with the new Chanel Holiday 2020 collection. So what I thought I would do today is share swatches of all of the pieces that I picked up in the collection as well as create this look for you kind of giving you my thoughts on each of the pieces and how you could use them in your routines. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about this Chanel holiday 2020 collection then let's go ahead and get started okay you guys i am so excited to play with the holiday 2020 chanel collection this is the la chaine hope that i'm not butchering it but it's but essentially what we are looking at is embossed little chain this chanel kind of classic chain design and you guys it is just absolutely stunning now i bought three of the mono eyeshadows here and i did pick up the la chaine de chanel and it just looked so pretty i could not resist i also did pick up two of the lipsticks so if you are new to my channel I am someone who prefers quads and single eyeshadows versus big palettes because I tend to get a bit overwhelmed. So these are right up my alley. I love the idea of single shadows kind of creating a really pretty wash of color, putting on some eyeliner, mascara, and being ready to go. And these are just absolutely gorgeous. So I, so I picked it up in the Quare Rose in the Quer Brun. You guys, this is a gorgeous shade here. And then I picked it up in the Or. So I'm gonna give you swatches. I did pass on the gold. I have a couple gold kind of eyeshadows that I do not tend to wear. So I'm going to... So here is the Quer Rose, the Or Blanc, and the Quer Brun. And you guys, they are just so pretty. They do have a little bit of shine to them, but they're not overly sparkly, if you can see that. They're actually quite easy to wear on the eye. And I've literally just been doing single eyeshadow look with a little bit of eyeliner, and I just think they are gorgeous with a little bit more of a bold lip. Then I want to go ahead and swatch the La Chaine de Chanel. And this is a very limited edition kind of bronzy rose blush. And then we've got the limited edition blush. And yes, it is sort of an illuminating kind of blush. It's going to give you a really beautiful luminous look on the skin in a kind of bronzy rose color. So I couldn't resist that and at first I thought it was just a highlighter and that was going to be a little bit too much for me but it is just a beautiful blush. So the chain design is mimicking many of the designs in the Chanel fashion collection and they had done that before like embossing like the print of the Chanel button and now they are doing the chain collection and this is just such a pretty collection and I love the thought behind the overall holiday collection. So what I thought we would do is we're going to create just a really simple wash of color on the eyes today, play with a little eyeliner and then play with the lipsticks that I picked up. And again, I will do future videos using the entire collection day by day. But I thought what we would do today is, I'm a sucker for a rosy eye. This is just one of my kind of favorite colors. And I love the fact that now I have it just in a single pan. But if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that I love like Tom Ford Disco Dust because it's got a little rosy shade in it, as well as like Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. In general, I love just a wash of eye. Today, I'm gonna play around with all three colors. 
but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea that basically you can just build on this, pick one of the shades or a few of the shades that you enjoy and use that just as a beautiful wash of color during this holiday season. So I'm going to start with this gorgeous color here. This is the Querve Rose and I'm going to take my Chanel. This is the Blender Shader Brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and I love the formula. It almost has a teeny bit of a gel like feel to it. For the sake of time I did put on foundation so we've got a little base here. little bit of rose on the eye here. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this rune color and I'm going to pull out my uh, definer smudger brush. I love this one. I'm going to take this kind of flatter edge here and we are going to take a little bit of that and we're just going to put a little bit of that on the outer corner. Now again, you can wear these just on their own, but I want to show you just how you could create a little look using both. And you guys, I just love that brune color. So I have used this all over my lid just by itself. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to go up into that. I'm going to take a little bit of that and go up into that crease. Taking the flat edge here and I am just going to run a little bit of that brun underneath my lash line. It's such a pretty color you guys. It's got a little bit of gold in it got a little bit of kind of almost a goldy brown shade to it. There's the rose along with the brun and then I'm going to take a little bit of this or blanc. You guys it's so pretty. I love anything that's kind of like a little pewtery and I'm just going to take a little bit with my finger just like that. I'm just going to pop that just kind of over here out into the middle of the eye. So just going to take just a little, taking a little bit on my smudger brush, you guys, I'm going to stick it right in that hollow. A little bit of that lightness, and I'm also going to take a little bit of that lightness towards the top part right here. Kind of lightening up. Then whatever's left, I'm just going to kind of run it through the rest. Okay, today we created a look using all three of these shades. And as I said, I'm going to do some more videos with you with just a single mono look like this. But I have to let, but I wanted to show you that yes, you can actually kind of create a pretty but not over the top kind of look using a few different ones of these beautiful single shadows. For eyeliner today, I'm just going to use classic. This is black wood and it's again kind of like a dark brown here. You could also use brune agape and I'm just going to define my eyes very close to the lash line here. Okay guys, here is just a little simple wash using those three colors. But we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna use, they have come out with a new and improved, this is the La Base Mascara. And I have a little bit of a sample here and we are going to use this to coat the lashes and then we will use the La Volume Stretch de Chanel. So we're going to use all Chanel products today. Oh. 
Okay guys, mascaras on and again, I really love those shadows. So, so far those are total winners. I love all the colors and yes, I did skip the gold one just because I don't tend to use those that much and I kind of thought I could get the same effect with this or blanc one. So, okay, we've got eyes on and let's go ahead and play with this beautiful blush. And I'm just gonna take a little rougher. This is the number 18, so it's just a little bit thinner. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this beauty. And we're just gonna put this on my skin like blush. And again, I, for the sake of time, I already used La Beige. This is the Healthy Glow Foundation Hydration and Long Wear. This is a favorite of mine. And so if you can see on camera, you guys, it gives you a really nice rosy bronze look. So I find this to be perfect for kind of transitional um, from summer to fall and into the holidays when we may not be wearing as much bronzer but still want a little bit of that kind of sun kiss glow. I find this is like a perfect little combination. Then I picked up two of the Rouge Allure Luminous Intense Lipsticks. I picked it up in the Or Beige as well as the Or Querve. And you guys, these are so pretty. So I already love the Rouge Allure kind of formula, especially in the Luminous formula. I'm gonna give you swatches of these. So I got one that's a little bit more neutral. And this is a swatch of the Or Beige. And then I got the or Querve, which I just love. And then this is the or Querve, which I just love this color, as you can see right in my wheelhouse, kind of a beautiful kind of berry red tone. Put these on my lips. So we'll start with the or Beige. And this is the shade Or Beige. This one is a little bit more of a peachy toned nude. And to be honest with you, this is not something that I would gravitate towards. I may not have bought it if I had actually swatched it ahead of time. It is not terrible. It's just I tend to love those more kind of berry mauve tones versus peach. But again, trying to get out of my rut and I do think that many people are going to really like this shade. Next we're going to put on O or Querve. And here is this color. So I actually really love this lipstick. I think it is fantastic for the holiday season. I think it's fantastic for fall. I think it's gonna look beautiful with like a simple little eye wash with a bolder lip. And this one seems, I'm gonna see if you guys can see, it almost has a little bit of sparkle to it. It almost gives my lips just a little bit more oomph. And I find that it really livens up the complexion. So I truly love this one and would recommend 117. I'm a little bit on the fence about the beige color, but that's more of a preference thing. I love the Allure Rouge formula. They're just creamy. They stay on your lips. I find they almost give me a little bit of a stain. So as this kind of will wear off from just general wear, I will be left with a little bit of a stain that will stick with me. So really happy with this lipstick. Okay guys, this is the final look using the holiday collection. As I said, I will be doing more videos playing with these, giving you some different little combinations of kind of eyeliners to wear with each of the mono 
eyeshadows, but just wanted to jump on. It is just launched and I wanted to show you the pieces that I picked up, what I'm loving so far. And what I would tell you is I love this lipstick. I do love the single shadows and I really love the limited edition illuminating blush. I just think it is gorgeous on the skin, gives you a little glow, but it's not too strong, which was what I was concerned about that I thought this might be a little too blingy on the cheeks, but I'm finding it just to give a nice pretty glow. As usual, I want to know what you guys are picking up, what you think of the collection so far, and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I will be back with another video soon.